Hey, good morning. Welcome back. It is Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verse 29 and 30. And let's look at that. And when all the people heard him, even the tax collectors justified God, having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. So here we have two groups. We have a group that receives the work of God. They receive his blessing. They receive his, oh, we were wrong. His business wasn't just to smash Romans. His business was to preach the gospel to the poor. We have the group that receives that. And we have another group, and let's pay close attention to that other group here again, the Pharisees and lawyers. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves not having been baptized by him. So these are people who stood off to the side. They were kind of big and important people. I'm a big lawyer around here. I, I certainly haven't gone out to be baptized by him. I'm, I'm double-checking everything. You see, it was that kind of spirit. Uh, we're not too sure about this Galilean guy. Let's just make sure here. Those people, it said, and notice what it said, the Pharisees and lawyers, these are the educated. These are the people looked up upon in that culture. And it said that what did they do? It said that they rejected the will of God for themselves. So God's will for the lawyers, these, these, these kind of wrong lawyers and wrong Pharisees, God's will for them was that they would repent, that they would receive the gift of repentance, that they would receive the message of John the Baptist, that they would receive Jesus as Messiah. God's plan was to redeem and save them, but they said, no, we weren't baptized by him. We're not connected to that. We are in a different space, and we're going to hold on to our differentness here, and we're holding withholding judgment. And that's what you have here, is these people did not have enough heart to believe in Jesus. These are people who chose to go their own way. And so our willfulness is often our own worst enemy. God's purpose, God's plan, if they would be willing, was to redeem all these Pharisees, redeem all these lawyers. They'd be part of the kingdom they said to God, no, we are satisfied with our experience. And part of our work today is to make sure that we are not satisfied with our experience, that we're growing in Jesus, growing closer to the kingdom. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we want to beware and receive the warning here by this group uh, of people who were too smart and too sure of themselves and they rejected your will for them. Lord, we want to accept your will for us. Change our hearts. Change our minds. Be our Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Help us not to be too self-assured. God will help us with that. And God will be blessing you today and all of your spiritual needs. If you and I, if we only just say, yes, Lord, I surrender all. I surrender all. God's blessing be upon you today.